All right, here's a personal question from Marianne. What happened, what was it that made you realize that you were ready to take care of somebody and how did you come to that conclusion that you were ready to be in a commitment again? Oh my God, great question. Um, and I wanna answer one more question, uh, Miss Ford's question. I am not in a current relationship. So, and we're gonna end on this one, folks. So after my divorce, um, the divorce, listen, at one point I was worth a couple million dollars and I had to split the money in the divorce and I was okay with that. Um, what happened was the market crash of 2008. I got wiped out and I lost my quarter million dollar year job. And that emotionally devastated me. I want to say for almost a decade, almost a decade, I was in the tunnel of despair. I used to go to bed wishing I didn't wake up. I was doing drugs and alcohol just to get through the day. And online dating was one of my drugs of choice. Actually, first dates was my drug of choice. Now, it ended up being the catalyst for what I'm doing today. So I'm very grateful for that collapse. And for the longest time, I was rebuilding my life. In fact, folks, at one, I used to live in a $2 million home while I was married. And shortly thereafter, when I lost everything, I had to move into my mom and dad's house, which was a condo in a retirement community with a bunch of 70, 80, and 90-year-old folks. And that was so embarrassing. I felt so much shame for so many years. And when I began following my passion as a dating and relationship coach, I started to dig my way out of this, this pit of despair I was in. And it really was now I started to make a six figure living about about eight, nine years ago. But I here in Southern California, that just didn't feel like enough to really I could take care of myself. And at least I was in a position to take care of myself. I was in a position to take care of myself. What really changed it for me, and I want to thank all of you, is the YouTube channel, because because of that, my coaching practice is quadrupled or not quadruple, it's grown like fivefold. Um, this was, and I'll be candid with you, when Connor passed away, there he is right there. Mm, I was in a bit of despair during that period of 2018, 2019. So I really wasn't in the capacity to, to want to be in relationship with anyone. In fact, it's only been this last year that I'm in that financial position and men associate financially taking care of someone but it's also, can I take care of someone emotionally? And now that I feel like the foundation underneath me feels solid, I'm not going through a lot of chaos in my life. The foundation feels solid. I'm in a great position financially. And this is true for a lot of men. If they don't feel like they're in a good position financially and there's chaos going on in their life, the foundation underneath them doesn't feel solid, then it's very difficult to lean into the most important facet of a fully committed relationship. And that is, I'm gonna take care of you. I wanna take care of you. I'm gonna take care of you. I wanna take care of you. Not to, you don't think about that on a first date. You think about that ahead of time. I'm ready to take care of someone. And I really only had this epiphany. Actually, I did a mushroom journey uh, a month ago, had this amazing psilocybin journey. And in that my mother, came to me in a vision, my mother who passed away, that's her right there. And she said, Jonathan, you're ready to love again. You are ready to love again because you're ready to take care of someone. So with that epiphany, and I, by the way, if you haven't done psilocybin, whoa, is that a life changer? Just like the Hoffman process, but that's another conversation as well. So to going back to your original question, um, it's only recently I felt this and I feel so much more empowered now. And I will tell you, a lot of men aren't capable of going into deeper intimacy. They're not capable of going into deeper commitment because they haven't resigned themselves to wanting to take care of someone. And I think that's the, all. let's think about it. Through richer, through poor, through thick or thin, sickness and in health. What is that all about? Saying, I've got your back. And to me, when I'm ready to say, I love you to my next partner, and my hope, my, the, my last first kiss, I love you means I'm here. You matter. We're important. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere. And I only want you. I'm here. I'm present. You matter. That's saying you're important to me. 
We are important. That's saying that the relationship is a separate entity. I've got your back. That means I'm going to be there for you through thick and thin. I'm not going anywhere means I'm fully committed to this relationship. And I only want you means I only want to fuck your brains out. You're the only one I want to go down on a regular basis. You're the one that I want to pleasure on a regular basis. That's what to me, I love you means for me. And my invite you to look at I love you in the same capacity. All right. I think that's a great place. Let me, if you, if you, if you agree, hit, give me an amen, hit, give me a like and, and give me a super sticker. <laughs> All right. Um, um, Sandra says more men need to listen to you. I, I love that. Uh, love the breakdown. Thank you so much. Uh, I, Colleen says, I would love to find that out. Thank you so much. Holly says, I totally agree. Thank you so much. Everyone, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you so much.